you know, Romeo Dubs, nothing on the day there. I um, got to got to come out of your lineup, which next week he'll probably crush. Yeah, I mean, um, good if, time to buy. I mean, if Lazard misses time, I'm probably putting him in my lineup. If you could, if you could sell Romeo for Wandel right now, would you do that? Seems like you probably should. I would do that. Sell Romeo, was, get Wandale. I don't want to, but I, guess, I don't know if I, I don't want know why to do not. that. Okay, I'm in. I'm I'm saying yeah. Mike's are we going to talk about Wandale? We can talk about either side. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just a little bit concerned with Wandale not playing in outside of three wide receiver sets. It'll be fine. Yeah, he's he's barely played at all and been very startable in fantasy. I mean. I'm agreeing with you. I'm just I'm just talking about long term. Yeah, I'm. Well, oh, I guess uh, long I guess, term he's gonna he's already he's already usurped Richie James. I mean, oh oh, thank goodness he well, usurped he, Richie James. He, well, he was getting a lot of run, and he basically played all the slot snaps. Like that's what he is. He's a slot player. So I mean, you just don't like any slot players because they're not gonna play in two I, wide receivers net sets. You know what I mean? Like, come on. And, come and on. to be fair, my oh, man's crushing. It to be there. fair, looks awesome. He's been hurt, so. I, I'm just making a point here. I, 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 you're allowed to make points. And I'm allowed to counterpoint. Not a good point. <laughs> so I'm, you, you can agree or disagree. I, I would prefer if you'd be playing more in two wide receiver sets. You just want then, outside wide receivers. Slot guys don't usually play in two wide receiver sets, right? Not all the time. I think. I think he. My can, man is like a buck seventy. I look at it like this. He came in and was immediately the volume guy sure, in that offense. Sure. And that's 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 what I want. I want the volume guy in the day ball offense, the guy that he picked, to come in and do things. Now, I, will they certainly add a wide receiver one to that offense? Certainly. I don't know. They don't even want to play Tony. I mean, I'm, he's hurt. Is he or hurt? I don't like him or whatever. I don't know. Bad attitude. It's, it's all, The thing with Tony has always been the head. Is the, yeah, bad can, attitude. Can the head get right? Uh, but Wandell... Came out there and I think doesn't get crunched up in, in that he he just has a bigger and bigger week and a bigger and bigger role every week and is, is would would keep that offense moving forward now yeah uh, be the catalyst for that offense now obviously they get a wide a, a, a big time wide receiver one which I think you know they're going sure. to the one way or another draft it or trade for it um, free agent I don't know who's they should the probably just stick with the draft for. instead of overpaying for wide receivers <laughs> um, but you know. I, I, I would mostly because I feel like I, I like Wandell. I think he can PPR wise, you know, I think he can soak up targets. I think he can. He's going to be that guy for the Giants um, who can just keep the chains moving. And he's got, you know, a little bit of uh, that kind of, you know, the stuff he did at uh, Nebraska and the stuff he did at he's Kentucky. Got he's got a little bit Jack more rabbit with the ball in his right. hands. He's got he's a little like bit a more, running back. Almost right. Kind of. Yeah. He's got a little bit more to him than just being a wide receiver. He played running back. And I minute, furthermore, right? I just Nebraska, like he did. I just bit. like the way that, you know, Dayball and the Giants are going one way. And right. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not counting the Packers out of anything, but Aaron Rodgers is going another way. Right. Um, and, I, you know, now does Jordan Love come in and is he good? Probably not. I don't know. The Packers do something else at quarterback. Maybe so, but just a little bit more consider. Like never in my life of, never in twenty twenty two did I think I would be saying, you know, I'm more concerned about Green Bay moving forward than the Giants moving forward. But you know, right now Here it seems are. it seems like we're we're kind of there at, in the moment. Um, and now you know I was pretty hot and heavy on Dobbs, um, and was was saying hey you know if, with a little bit more confidence from Aaron Rodgers and a little bit more that hey I'm staying around for a couple more years I would have gone all the way up to the first for him because I do believe in the talent but I think yeah. I would I think I would swap out for Wandell right now if I could I think it's fair Brandon says not selling dubs for Wandell would be bad process in my opinion easily give me the wide receiver drafted in the second round handpicked by the new coaching staff uh, we've never been big draft capital guys, so I don't know that I would just be like, well, I mean, I second rounder, it, so you got to take him. Dubs has shown a lot um, just because he had a zero. It's a bad week to go to bat for Dubs. He wasn't good last a good week. Trade candidate right now. The thing is, is Rogers long term. Now, to the point of the, the organizations, I think Green Bay will figure it out. Either they, they, they obviously should know by now what they have in love. He did actually look better in the preseason than I've seen him look ever in his career this past preseason and he did have a little bit of a connection with Dubs threw up a, a really nice intuitive ball that Dubs came back and got and Rodgers was impressed by it and was like yeah I'm, I'm about to 
throw my man some love. And it's probably going to have to happen with dubs. I could see it coming right back. You get a couple good weeks of dubs and it's right yeah, back. I'll, I think right it will back happen. up there. Um, I, I think the Packers will figure it out, whether they get another quarterback. They got a good organization. They always have had. And I believe in Matt LaFleur. So I, I'm not extremely worried about Dubs long term because of Aaron Rodgers. It's not like Aaron Rodgers is crushing with Dubs right now either. So my man gets behind defenses, and it's like, would you, would you rather have the volume guy that's that's good after the catch? Or would you rather get the guy that gets behind defenses and makes you play in one day? It's kind of I like mean, a I mean, but apples bro, and oranges kind Dubs of thing. Also, almost. could be a volume guy. It's just just not there right now. Rodgers is is just. You know, Rodgers is going to have to stop being a little bitch and come around and be like, hey, you know, these are what this is what you fucking got. Throw it to him. Like there's there's just Tony. Tony Dungy said it on the halftime report. There's fucking guys open. You're just not hitting him. You're not throwing it to him. Like, you know, I, I, I think Romeo will be just fine. I think he's a good player. Um, I'm bald. And, not and I, talk I, about I'm, guys I'm, with hair, but I'm fine with I'm not saying that I'm just going and panic selling. Romeo and I'm sorry. No, I, don't I think, think it's a I think Wandale's a great return. I'm I think not it's saying a buy that, yeah, low. y'all are wrong saying taking Wandale over. I just don't think it's bad process if I want to keep Dubs. You know, that's yeah. all my only point. Like I'm fine. You want to turn Dubs into Wandale? Like Wandale was cheap enough. Casey's been on him. He's like, you should go get him. He's he's been obtainable. Yeah, we've been talking about Wandale for two weeks now. Cheap enough to get in your rookie draft. Cheap for enough sure. to get all season. Had to bail me out of some fucking redraft. Start three wide receivers. It was hopefully right. Wondell is right. Do we start? We started him. Sure, he did bail us out. Yeah, of course DJ Moore bailed us out too. This week. we started him. We had, had to. to. I had no fucking. We're choice. so depleted, man. It's wild. We had to start DJ Moore and Wandale. And if, like I had anybody, if I had any points. single other option, <laughs> DJ Moore would have been on the fucking <laughs> bench. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't have that option. I'm so glad right now. Yeah. We, we dropped like two hundo in that league. Yeah, two hundred points. Um. Anybody got anything else before we go to the other side? Mm -mm. 